Which is astrology. Are you saying astrology is not real? Yes. <laughs> Typical Capricorn. <laughs> Twatty, did you all get when you found that Higgs boson thing? <laughs> <laughs> Do you bet, I bet you had a right old knees up with this Higgs boson. It, we've been looking for that thing for 50 years. Yeah. And we had to build the most complex machine ever built yeah. to find it. Um, Peter Higgs came up with it, a Scottish physicist came up with the theory in 1963. Uh, machines have been built since then. There was there's one in Hamburg, there's one in Chicago, another one in Geneva. Billions of dollars spent. And this year it was confirmed that it exists, it's real. So did you have a party with this Higgs boson? Because I don't even know what it is. There, there was a... Because when you talk yes, about science, all I hear is... La, 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 la. <laughs> my head's going to explode. It's a tremendous story. The idea is that less than a billionth of a second after the universe began, yeah. that's 13.8 billion years ago, right, as the yeah. universe was expanding and cooling, something condensed out into empty space, just like ice forming on a window pane oh, on a yeah, cold day. Yeah, yeah. And that thing is here now, in every cubic metre of space, inside your head, inside the table, everywhere. Right inside out the woo-woo? Uh, inside the woo-woo. <laughs> right out to the edge of the observable universe. It's there. It's called the Higgs field. You are getting mass. Your subatomic particles are solid. I'm getting solid. mass? They have... <laughs> they are, they... You shouldn't be looking. I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> you are solid because your subatomic particles are interacting with that Higgs field. It's like a cosmic treacle permeating space. The most bizarre sounding theory you can possibly imagine. Yeah. But it turns out that that's correct. That's how nature works. If it wasn't for that, we wouldn't exist. There would be no substance in the universe. And where does it rank in some of the greatest scientific discoveries ever? Is it the one? Is it... Yeah. It's one of the... It is one of the great discoveries. It's absolutely fundamental. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a new kind of of physics, in a sense, and, and I, I think nothing like it has been discovered for a, a century, at least. It's one, one of the great discoveries. Is it up there with Healy's? <laughs> <laughs> you know the answer to that question. <laughs> <laughs>